Did you know Cedar Creek's meteorite weighed 7.2 kilograms and landed on November 7, 1969, in a cornfield that still smells of rain and iron? The rock hummed when touched, a distant engine there after the storm. Geologist Dr. Ada Sato says the isotopes refuse to align with any earthly archive. The surface bears a calendar, loops of letters around a star in the middle. Archivist Libby Crane handed me a brittle ledger kept in a copper box. It lists 17 names, every entry marked with a star, and dated the day the rock fell. The town clock jumped backward at 2.13 a.m. for 23 seconds, then moved on as if nothing had happened. Residents recall memories they swear they never lived. A man who spoke perfect French, a girl who swore a road ran beneath the river. Mira Chen, now 78, says a cabin appeared on the hillside that no map shows. The calendar on the stone marks cycles, 7, 13, 21. The next alignment, she warns, could pull the past into the present, with debt to pay. We realize the meteorite is a recorder, not a rock. Cedar Creek is a listening post for borrowed time. The story ends where it began, with rain, iron, and an impossible memory waiting for a listener. I stood in the copper box room, listening to the rain on the tin roof, thinking of the 17 names and their fates, wondering who wrote the calendar and why this town keeps listening.